And initially I thought, did someone hit my house? Did a tree fall in my house? I'm like, oh, that was an earthquake. So pretty much. Nope, they are not very common in Northeast Ohio, but now we have learned that four earthquakes have hit in the past four days, including three in the past 24 hours alone. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke with an expert about just how often these occur and what those who felt it experienced. You're welcome. You have a great day. In the village of Madison. Bye. It's not just the caffeine that's causing a buzz. It's last night's 3.6 magnitude earthquake that has communities around Lake County talking. I kind of froze and I was just like unsure because I saw the mirror shaking. Emily Coach was heading to bed when it happened just after 1030. I felt something under my feet. I um, heard a loud noise and it was kind of simultaneous. Uh, the mirrors on my wall started shaking and so did I. Gabrielle Crouch was also surprised when she heard a rumble. It's just a weird feeling to feel like your whole floor is kind of bouncing underneath you. Expert Stephen Houck says Northeast Ohio doesn't get earthquakes, especially of this 3.6 size, all that much. There have been about 10 earthquakes in Lake and Ashtabula County that are about this size or larger recorded in history. He says there was also a 2.3 magnitude earthquake in the same area of Lake County last Thursday, plus aftershocks after last night's quake. But he adds it's not well understood why we see earthquakes here. Part of that is because of how infrequent they are. We don't have a lot of data to be able to understand what are the major sources of what we call the stress that's driving them. Despite the surprise, those in Lake County aren't panicking. Just something for everybody to talk about and get on social media and be like, holy cow, what was that? What did we do? Well, again, not a whole lot of definitive information as to why earthquakes happen in our area. But one reason points to buried faults that were active tens of millions of years ago. And when there's slight movement that accumulates over time, that rust can cause an earthquake. Who knew? Isabel Lawrence in the newsroom. Thank you.